Okay, we're here, Camper Pros. You got a reducing valve on here? Oh yeah, uh, you don't have a pressure reducing valve? Oh, uh, in the inside I do. Okay. In the inside I do. And that's yeah. the right place to put it too. Yes, I put it in the inside, not on the outside. Right, a lot of people do it wrong. Yeah, no, no, no. Now we're gonna take this piece off and slide under the kitchen sink. It's right in the middle of the tires and axle and underbelly. That sucks. Get this thing out, see what we got. Oh, here we go, now we can see more. See what we can see with the camera, go down there and... Uh, go to a smaller hole, there we go. We're in. Gotta figure out where that pipe is, so we don't have to cut the whole underbelly. What'd they use, they didn't use packs, they use regular what the heck? Probably blew a hole in it. Is that the hole right there? I usually use pecs. It's kind of weird. Strange. Ooh, it's right next to the slide. Oh. But I do see a pex line right there. That's the camera right there, guys. Put a camera down there, see what we got. Nothing's leaking. You got it on? I don't see anything leaking. Nothing's leaking. All right, he's got the hot water on now, and we'll see if it comes out here, the drain, or if it comes out the underbelly. Because it comes out the underbelly, it means the black gray tank has popped off, off the thingy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, it's dry. It's right here. Well, what the hell was it? I'm still thinking, Russ, it's the sink. I think it's the hose. It can't be, it, it, it's gotta be the drain line. It can't be the fresh water line because it's not leaking. We had a I had full, full water pressure on it. It's not leaking. No, it's not, it's, it, that's called a high pressure line. You so know, it's, I'm not disagreeing with It's gotta problems. be a, oh shit. It's gotta be a low pressure line. It was high pressure line. We had pressure on it. The water pressure, it'd be pouring everywhere. That much water. Pouring everywhere. You would obviously see it squirting. Yeah, well, we would see You'd it hear it. Out. Shh. You'd hear it. She came outside. To, I sent Heather the video. You know, what she sent and it was leaking was over here? Water. Well, the water was built up all along this. No, he's got gas going through there. You, you, I can hear the gas going through there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The warranty company doesn't want me to crack the cut the underbelly, so to take it down, he doesn't want it down for too long, so it's like, what do I do? I'm in the middle. Warranty companies suck. Okay, furnace is on. There's nothing wrong with that. Just. Furnace is on! Oh, I I, the furnace is on. I think your tank got too cold. That's what happened, I think. On the furnace? Everything's working perfect on that side. That's not the check valve. All right, dude. It's not the, it's not the. I mean, there's warm air blowing at it. It's not like in your face, like super hot. Well, it just lit. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's, it takes, I mean, it's hot coming out the outside. Yeah, I believe. The it. burner's got it. It's a uh, heat exchanger. The burner's got to get real hot first. It's, it's lit. Trust me, I burn my hand out there. Oh, I know. I put myself into the work. You put <laughs> all my work into myself. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be on my channel. This is a nice guy right here. This is the customer. Did we do Great a good job. job? They killed it. They crushed it. They got it done. I appreciate it. Thank you. See that, guys? You see that? All right. So everything's good. Underbelly's back up perfect. No leaks. And we're out of here. What, what's that look, Wall? Satisfaction. I'm going home. <laughs> okay, guys. I figured to end this video. It's late. And uh, yeah, I bought that guy's car off him because I wanted a golf cart and Heather wanted a golf cart and uh, we got a golf cart with power windows, heated seats, air conditioning. And then just put a new compressor in. A little smart car by made by Mercedes, I think. But it's not banged up or anything. And it's got new tires, new headlights he put on it. Check it out. Nice little car. So what we're gonna try to do is trailer this around for a golf cart, use it to go to the property back and forth and might fit in the back of that Ford truck. <laughs> This needs to be cleaned up. But uh, it's got, it's a three cylinder, the motor's in the back, and it's got a paddle shifter in it. It's got a sunroof, 
But the paddle shift is really cool because you can, this thing flies too. For a little car, holy cow. It's got 115,000 miles, but it's put new brakes, new tires, like a lot of new stuff on it. New air conditioning system. But it's pretty big inside, it's pretty roomy, so. Oh, got a smart car. So we're back and uh, we, we just welded a new jack in this Montana fifth wheel over here. Let me show you guys real quick before we go to bed. And Bill's excavator and Walt's. So we got right here. We got this held up by blocks. This whole fifth wheel is heavy. It's a big fifth wheel. It's on blocks right here. So we put a new jack on there. We had to weld it on there. I just got to paint it more. So we welded that jack on there. Because it bent. So this thing's still sitting on a block. Hope that doesn't break. Bill says it's not gonna, it looks like it's gonna split to me, but we put another one under there, so just in case. So, that, we did that. That took us about five hours, six hours. And then, this one side sitting on blocks too because hydraulic line's off. And I took the sticker off, it was all messed up right here. I kinda cut it so it looks good. And then we gotta replace this whole back, back thing, I guess I gotta blow out, blew that off. We had to put a new, uh, well then a new one of these on. New hanger. So, yeah, got the skid steer here, so we got to do more work on a property with skid steer. So we're getting there, guys. We're trying. So, parked ambulance over there. And uh, we're going to have a good night. You guys have a good night. Happy Valentine's Day. And we'll see you guys later. Lakers and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.